Ever since this day started, these two ghosts have been keeping vigil over Miketo's amphitheater. One's just chilling out, the other one's in more of a festive mood. And no, I'm not talking about the yellow ghosts, I'm of course talking about the white ones. But these yellow ghosts will actually play a role in this year's version of All Saints Wake. So, with that in mind, greetings people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. And today is the launch of this game's version of Halloween where our very own Rika Sasaki will once again be taking part in the festivities being held by the Continental Circus. And this time, like I tried to last time, we have the beautiful Etta outfit from the Palace of the Dead with her wearing it. So yeah, we're definitely going to make it a point to use it to greater effect this time around because if you'll believe it, this time we don't actually get a costume to wear. Yeah, there's no costumes for us to actually wear in this year's All Saints Wake, so we had to come with our own, which is why Rika's all set up with this look, so we're gonna go ahead and use it. And of course, well, I guess I should also keep the scythe out because we want to make sure that we use this to great effect because of the fact that, as always, whenever All Saints Wake comes around, an Adventurous Guild Investigator is likely to muck things up. So let's go ahead and speak with him for the level 15 challenge entitled, The Sinister Soiree. The Adventurous Guild Investigator is eyeing the troop currently occupying the Kettle's Amphitheater with suspicion. Obviously. Oh, we meet again! Much to my relief, frankly, I could use the help of an adventurer who knows the Continental Circus and their fiendish proclivities. I imagine you won't be surprised to hear that they're up to something new this year and it doesn't seem entirely above board. Not that anything a troop of fellow fiends posing as law-abiding citizens does is truly but bald, but, well, you know. Now the adventurer's skill policy on the matter is to live and let revel as long as they don't get up to anything too evil, but I have reason to suspect they're plotting something truly diabolical for this year's festivities. The troop has been inviting folk to a certain manner, ostensibly for a marvelous masquerade in the spirit of All Saints Wake. But I have been keeping constant watch, ever alert for signs of villainy and the whispers of passers-by tell a different story. I've even heard that some who entered have yet to return. Uh-oh. Personally, I feel that whisking the citizenry away into the night is a spot of mischief too far, and I'm sure you agree that something should be done before harm comes to unsuspecting revelers. We need to find out what the troop is really up to, by feigning interest in the party. The impresario seems to realize that I'm investigating the circus. I can't imagine how. While you've been investigating this for so many years, I think he knows your face pretty well. Regardless, he will know that I have ulterior motives, so you must go alone and then report back to me. I'll try to dig up additional information on the missing persons in the meantime. Well, thankfully, I made sure to have Rika properly disguised, because yeah, you'll remember that with this look we have a little eye patch for her to wear, so it does make her a little less noticeable or recognizable, especially since we've met with the impresarios so many times now as Rika. So let's head over to meet up with the impresario, the freaky jack-o'-lantern-headed guy who runs the Continental Circus. Hello, sir. We meet again. Oh my. Is that a familiar adventurer I spy? Hmm? Perhaps, though perhaps I am mistaken for much and more as it not seems that this time of year, wouldn't you agree? Whomever you may be, I do hope you are having a properly dreadful All Saints Wake. Well, at least I passed the first test. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. You're not? Dear, dear, that simply will not do. But dry your tears, for the wake is still young and there are many frights yet to come. I'm certain we can make room at our marvelous masquerade for an illustrious adventurer as yourself. Yes, her masquerade, where guests on guises both forsome and frightful and dance as long as they dare. Does that not sound charmingly reminiscent of the night of devilry in fairy tales? Oh, to revel in such ghoulish delights, to join the madness in the streets, to seal that palest of pumpkin heads leading a magnificent medley of fiends. 
It has been so long since the coming of the last true knight. How I curse each year wasted in the great god's absence. <clears throat> Pardon me. I simply adore the idea of an authentic celebration, and though the circus does its best each All Saints wake, we lack the, uh, manpower to truly impart the thrill of this season the realm over. What we do not lack, though, is a frightfully abandoned mish mansion for our masquerade. Why, there are even rumors that its furnishings, with no master to serve, have taken on lives of their own, and hold baleful banquets in the darkness of night. All too dying to attend. I have a few dozen guys I've been working on. Or what about the rumors of who and those who enter and never return? Um, let's not lead them on. And besides, Rika is a master of various outfits. How splendid. In that case, you will no doubt want to join the masquerade forthwith. Do mind your surroundings when you enter the manor, though. Its quarters are labyrinthine, and who knows what frights lie in store. Regardless, I'm sure you'll have an absolutely spine-tingling time. Yes, and when mortal terror is at its zenith, the night of devilry shall return at long last. Yeah. Excuse me? Oh, that. Merely a new slogan for the Continental Circus, of course. To help revelers get in the spirit and such. Now, off you go. Yeah. Why do I feel as if I'm being watched? Surely no one is aware of our true intentions this time. <laughs> I'm watching you. Woo! Yeah, mysterious voice coming around. Whispers seem to emanate from somewhere nearby. So yeah, shall we find out where they're coming from? Yeah, perhaps around here? Yeah, let's see if we come up with anything. The voice continues its valiant attempt to sound spooky as it moves towards the Whistling Miller. Which is over this way. Yeah, more people getting ghost outfits. <laughs> yeah, it's not just limited to the two people dancing on the gate. So, who goes there? As we're looking around... Yeah, I have a scythe and I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah, we have a couple of little yellow ghosts flying by. Like, what was that? And then... Whoa! <laughs> yeah, how they dance and giggle. Delighted to be alive at last, aren't we, little ones? Yeah, that way. Yeah. There's also a white-headed pumpkin girl who plays the role of the good guy and is usually a lot more um, hidden than this, but not this time, though. I do believe we've met before. Yes, in an autumn such as this. Now, didn't you two have something to tell our friend here? <laughs> you should have seen your face. It was hilarious. We went boo and your eyes got huge and... You know, now that you mention it, I don't actually remember what we came here to talk about. Ouch. <sighs> the plot! The evil one! The one that involves being loud and irritating in our mansion? Oh, right. So the other day, when I was sitting in the foyer being decorative, which is the same thing I did every day back before I could move, come to think of it, I saw Mama carry a little girl away to the dark depths of the mansion. I could hardly believe my eye holes. Suspicious, right? And horrifying. But I couldn't do anything about it on account of having no mouth to scream with. I mean, I had a mouth, but it didn't do anything, me being frippery and all. Anyway, that's when the lady came with a hideous pumpkin on her head, came along and imbued me with life. I guess you're both thankful for that. Please stop talking. You'll get us both back turned back into all shaped arts. Right. So it matters as we begin keeping an eye on the impresario. And wouldn't you know it, he's plotting something. As you are aware, the Continental Circus is luring people to the mansion for a masquerade. Once there, the guests will be kidnapped and turned into jack-o'-lanterns to inspire terror. 
With enough victims, the troop will be able to usher in the Knight of Devilry. It's a nuisance, honestly. I resign myself to the fact that I'll have to go out of my way to deal with this. If you want to put a stop to the impresario's plans, I can help. Me too, me too! The thought of that poor little girl being turned into a pumpkin and stuck in a corner is enough to send a chill down my seam! It would be terrible! Dreadful! The greatest travesty this world has ever seen! So do you keep it from happening, right? That's why I'm here. With a determined look on my face. Amazing! I knew we could count on you! Well, not really, I suppose, since I just met you a few moments ago, but you do seem nice. Anyway, we'll head back to the mansion and meet you there. And so, that we shall do. <laughs> they certainly are enjoying themselves. The joy of conversation is a novelty to them. Though to you, it may be unworthy of a mark. Yeah, the white headed pumpkin lady has already fled, having done what she needed to do. So, back over to the amphitheater to speak with the investigator. Alright, sir. Here's what we found out. Did you glean anything of the Impasoyo's master plan? Yes, we did. Witnesses saw Mama absconding with the little girl? That must be the Mikote child who's reported missing. Yeah, we've had incidents with a Mikote child a couple of years ago, if you'll remember. I inquired with the Woodwellers as to whether there had been any suspicious incident of late, and it seems that they have been searching for one Tamarita at the request of her family. Yeah, remember the little girl who got turned into a creature against her will three years ago when Rika made her official debut? Yeah, it seems like we're about to have a reunion. The situation is already far worse than I feared. We must locate the child at once before any form of harm befalls her. I'll report what you've discovered to the Woodwailers and prepare to lead a raid on the mansion. In the meantime, you ought to disguise yourself and infiltrate the masquerade. See if you can discern where the girl is being held. Alright. My thanks. I've seen the genial geyser escorting folk to the manor, so once you've chose your chosen costume is in place, you should be able to convince him to let you inside. And so that genial geyser is going to be right over here. Oh-ho! Another reveler ready to join our marvelous masquerade! Yes, I'm ready. Take me in there. Now, for those of you familiar with this particular manor, we saw it a couple of years ago. It was the haunted house that served with a variety of challenges for people to take part in as a party. And that thing is back again, like it was last year. It's the same sort of a series of events that you can do like you did two years ago, or if you missed out on it, last year. Hey there, Ian. Oh, I want to speak with your little twin. Took you long enough. I'm not sure how much more of this reverie I can endure. Oh, wow, you're here already. I've been so busy reveling that the time just flew by. <laughs> do you see what I put up with? Regardless, we should seek out the malevolent mummers and try to get some information on where they are keeping her. Pray that she hasn't already been turned into a pumpkin or we'll be here for moons. I doubt the mummers will tell us what we need to know if we ask politely, so we'll need to employ a bit of deception. Fortunately, I came up with a plan during the ample time you left me to think. They should be more than willing to speak to one of their own, namely a fiend, so we'll turn you into one. Yeah, like what? I bet you're wondering how we'll make you into a monster. You are, aren't you? Well, see our very close friend with the hideous, uh, I mean, festive pumpkin head all, all sorts of powers. All sorts. And we asked the world one or two or three. Indeed, the powers we have will allow us to transfer your appearance to as members of the troop do, albeit temporarily. Go ahead and adjust to the idea of your visage being horribly reconfigured. When you're ready, let me know and I'll explain the plan in detail. And so we'll take 3,360 experience points plus some McGill and move directly to the next event, which is recurring. And as long as you stay in this particular part of the challenge, you can keep coming in here as often as you want. So let's speak with Yin for the level 15 challenge entitled The Parlous Ploy. Little Yin awaits word that you are prepared for transfiguration. That 
that was fast. Are you so eager to part with your current visage? I suppose I can see why. In any case, you'll need to turn yourself into one of three types of fiend to adequately blend in with the Continental Circus members I've been observing, skulking about the manor. <clears throat> According to decorative eyewitnesses, the members currently on duty are in truth alluring, airborne, long-talent creatures. I assume that gives you a decent idea of what we're dealing with. All three members are currently on the ground floor, so you should have little trouble finding them. Now all that's left is to get you transfigured. As you can see, some of my fellows are so taken with the idea that they've already donned the appearances of their favorite All Saints Week fiends. You need only to speak to whichever has given herself the form you seek, and she will weave the magics for you. With boisterous enthusiasm, I'm sure. Yeah, kind of losing my voice here, and it's not the right time for this to happen. So yeah, they said alluring, right? The only one that meets that requirement is the Succubus. How do I look? Just kidding, I know the answer. Positively irresistible. I've made three people fall down the stairs this morning alone. Want to join me? So the Excellent Trixum Treat will become available once the pet hot bar is transfigured. Cast Trixum Treat on Malevolent Mummers to startle them. Okay, and so now Rika is a succubus. Although, we can't alter the camera well enough to this point where we can show her off in full effect unless we're cutting off her head and look, focusing more on her. Uh, well, you get the idea. Anyway. Yeah, it's a good thing this look is temporary. So we gotta go to where these marvelous mummers are, and since we were told they're all on the ground floor. We're gonna start over here in room 107. Hello there. Are those burning pumpkin cookies I smell? I wonder if I could sneak away just for dessert. So yeah, they seem too focused on fantasizing food to about that anything useful slip. Well, this will change that. Uh, room 201! Room 201! Room 201! Uh, oh! Uh, honestly, can't you just greet me like a noble agent of evil? Now I'm gonna have to spend my whole patrol trying to remember what room we've put the memo in. Well, you kinda leaked it for me, but... Even though we have our first lead, we still need to get over to where the other people are. So, we're going to cut across. Since it'll take quite a bit of time to get to where the other two mummers are. And for those of you who are wondering, no, I cannot sprint while in this form. Sadly. Yeah, I wish I could. Unfortunately, I can't. <coughs> yeah, we have this malevolent mama right here. Oh, thank you not to interrupt me unless I was truly urgent. I have important kidnapping to do. <laughs> yeah, kidnapping? Well, that's gonna change. Oh, what the? Oh, phew. Why exactly aren't you going in the memo? I need to be about finding our next victim and mark my words, there'll be seven hours to pay if I hear that some interloper has walked off with our guest town pumpkin in the meantime. And so up goes the big burly Rogadin. So now let's go over this way. And we'll find our next person of interest, I believe, around here somewhere. Unless they've changed that person's position. Which it looks like they may have done. And if that's the case, uh-oh. I mean, I have only done this once to this point, but still. Having a lack of a memory is a bad thing. But yeah, they must have moved some of them around. I guess we'll have to just keep looking then. So yeah, where have they moved mummer number three? Yeah, because when I did this earlier with my test run, like, there were two mummers in adjacent rooms. Not so apparently this time round. Yeah. Also, this is access denied. No way to get through here. Okay, so they moved you over here to 103, young lady. 
Yeah. How'd you get moved? I guess random number generator does that to you. No, mother. I shot full sleep. Hmm, mildew. <laughs> mildew, huh? Maybe this will wake you up. Ah, a fiend! Oh, wait, I'm also a fiend. Whew, don't stalt me like that. You made me forget who I am. And where we put that pumpkin. Drat. Oh, well, that's what the memo is for. So now that we've gleaned our information... We now got to, slowly but surely, make our way back to speak with Yen and let her know what's going on. Yeah, based on the way that the two ghosts talk, I've ascertained that Yin is a girl and Yang is a guy. Basically, Palam and Purim from Final Fantasy IV, but in ghost form. So let's pull ourselves back over here to Yin. Turn this off. And speak with her. And what did you learn? This is what we learned. I knew my plan would work. We've got you now, you rowdy little. Let's review the information you collected. Yes. Wait, what for information? Oh, Rika, when did you get back? <laughs> yeah, so for this we get a pumpkin cookie. So, like like I said, if we want to try this challenge as many times as we want, we can stick around here and keep talking to Yin. But we're going to move on here and speak with Yang for the level 15 challenge entitled, The Sorted Cipher. Little Yang seems quite eager to review your findings, likely because he was not listening the first time. Good work out there! I mean, I suppose you don't- I suppose I don't know how your work was exactly since I've been here the whole time and all, but you seem like someone who would do good work. So let's review the work that you did. <sighs> if you had been paying attention, you would know that our friend here tricked the mummers into revealing a room number, 201, and the existence of a memo regarding a pumpkin significant enough to be kept under guard. I see! So that means... Actually, I lied. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> that memo holds information on the missing girl's whereabouts, or the members have an unsettling obsession with pumpkins. Well, while I'm sure the latter is true, we need to tell them the former. Yes, I quite agree. Oh, so the pumpkin... The pumpkin is... The little girl? Oh no, this is terrible! Indeed, which means that you two should investigate room 201 post haste and see if you can't locate the memo. Off you go! Yeah, I've been picking up a lot of followers online lately since getting the um, addition of Fortnite to my collection of games that I've played. I've been getting a lot of people following me. I've also gotten a lot of friend requests from total strangers, a large majority of whom only speak Spanish. Like, what's with all the Spanish people wanting to be my friend? The conspicuous memo contains notes scrawled in an unpracticed hand. Pumpkin dash celerage, bat plus succubus, room number equals eyes. Quite weird memo, isn't it? This has to be the one! It says pumpkin on it and everything! Now we just need to count some eyeballs. You can do that, right? You seem like a great eyeball counter. Oh, the eyeballs reminded me of these other balls. The pumpkin-headed lady gave them to me. They're subliming smoke bombs that can break any skin changer curse. Alright, and we'll take some from little Yang. Just throw one at any old jack o and you see, and it will turn back into its original form. Unless its original form was a pumpkin, then it'll stay the same. That little girl must be so scared. Hurry and find the room. I'll be right behind you. Oh, but not in a haunting way. In a helpful way. Decoding the memo, it's checking a solution against the cellar room numbers on your map will allow you to quickly locate the transformed captive amongst the plethora of suspicious pumpkins in the manor. Alright, so let's go find the peculiar pumpkin now. 
To do that, we're gonna have to go where the note suggested we go, which is the cellar. So we gotta make our way down there and then find where everything is. Hopefully we can find this peculiar pumpkin sooner rather than later. Now in my test run, I actually found this on the first try. And that the peculiar pumpkin was over in this room. And it is again. So let's pull out our subliming skill bombs and throw it at this pumpkin. Does RG work favorably again? It may have. Yeah, it's smoking now. I knew that would be skilled at pumpkin identification, and you did it! You saved the little... Yeah, we did. Except... Wait, what?! Yeah, we found a person dressed in last year's werewolf costume. Uh, I can finally stretch my legs again! I finally have legs again! Ugh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> yeah, and suddenly he runs off. Oh, gods! The little girl turned into a large man! It's terrible! It's dreadful! It's the greatest travesty this world has ever seen! Like, you shouldn't be judge based on appearances, you know? Or, I'm pretty sure that's a different person. Yeah, it's not the little Mikote girl. Oh, that does make more sense, come to think of it. Well, even if he isn't the girl we're looking for, we should probably follow him, don't you think? I would agree with that. I would indeed agree with that. So let's go find this gentleman in the werewolf outfit. Definitely prefers old school looks. But then again, we are seeing a variety of them now that All Saints Wake has been around for five years, basically. For as long as... Final Fantasy XIV in its current form has been around. Yeah, turn around, man. We're not scary. Oh, Ghost Stalker! All right, Tolkien, keep it together. Yeah. Wait a minute. I know you. I apologize for my outburst. I'm a little on edge. One minute I was enjoying the masquerade, you see, and the next, next time a pumpkin in a dungeon. It's a bit much to take in. Well, what about all these other pumpkins? And then... Wait, what? The little girl we were looking for is actually okay? Oh, little Tamarita, you're considerably less orange than I was a moment ago. So I take that to mean that you've been safe in your hiding place all this time? Yep, I'm the best hider. There's not a feed who's found me yet. Hello, I'm confused. Yeah, let's explain. Well, Mr. Ghost, I was looking around this big scary mansion for good hide and seek spots when one of the people from the circus saw me and started casting a spell on me. I know because this happened before. Falcon jumped in front of me, but he got turned into a pumpkin. I ran away and I wanted to go and get help, but there were too many people from the troop guarding the way out. Me? I just happened to be lost in the cellarage when I came upon that mama cast the, the curse on her. Not that I knew it was a curse at the time, mind, but it seems right, Hominus. So I shielded her without a second thought, and then I was a pumpkin. Funny how these things happen, eh? Fortunately, unfortunately, I wasn't much good to anyone after that. You must have been scared out of your wits all alone down here. Don't worry, I was fine. These nice brooms kept me company while I hid. Yeah, it looks like, um, Matoya... Brought some of her brooms over to help out. Yeah, dusting and dancing and whatnot. Thank you for coming to save me again, Miss Adventure. And you too, Mr. Ghost. Glad we could help. My thanks as well. I would have hated to be stuck as a jack o' lantern forever. It's just sitting there decoratively, serving no purpose. Anyway, I'd be more than happy to escort Tamarita home to her mother. Hopefully next time we meet, I won't be a useless ornament. <laughs> yeah. You take care of yourself there, Tamarita. 
Yeah, and the booms pursue. Wow, that was weird, and slightly offensive. But I'm glad they're safe and everything worked out, you know. Because when the pumpkin turned into a middle-aged man, it was so scary and I thought we were in for a terrible tragedy for sure. But, oh, do you think we're supposed to tell Yin? I think so too. Yeah, let's go and do that, shall we? So now we gotta go back upstairs. Yeah, I don't know if that ghost outfit was from the original All Saints Wake from five years ago. Because I wasn't playing this game five years ago. I only got started in 2014, not 13. So I really don't know if that ghost outfit came from the original All Saints Wake, but... Yeah, it seems to be... It, it's really popular this year, and I think it's probably because of the inspiration that these little ghosts have provided. Hey, Yen. The little girl turned into what? Actually, it wasn't all like that. Ah, oh, I see. Well, what matters is that everything turned out in the end. And it's all thanks to Rika. It really was fun talking to you and joking with you and panicking with you and running around with you. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever had so much fun. And now that it's over, I can finally have some peace and quiet. The manor will be empty once again, and perhaps we must return to silence as well. Not that I mind, but... Do come and see us again. Ah, huh, yes, that's quite enough for now. Wasn't someone waiting to hear from you? If they need to know where it is, they can just go back upstairs and read the memo. But yeah, we can just walk out now and end this. So leaving the haunted manor and returning to Gridania. And so now that we're back, let's give the Adventures Guild Investigator the good news. Now that daytime has arrived. Yeah, the day is really lighting up now, now that everything's okay. Ah, uh, there you are. I was delighted to hear that you managed to rescue the girl, even without reinforcements. The less the impresario knows of our resources, the better. And perhaps the troops' failure to keep a hold of their prey will give them cause to doubt the wisdom of their plans. We can only hope, and keep a close watch, of course. I will remain at my post here, vigilant as always. If you could keep an eye on the goings-on within the manor itself, I'd be grateful. Hmm, but what to do about the other issue? Yeah, and he's referring to the re reintroduction of the Haunted Manor game from a couple of years ago. It is fitting that you brought the little ones to light, for they have watched over you for longer than you know. <laughs> As for how the brooms that made the girl their playmates came to move, even I cannot say. For it was no magic of mine. But no matter. As the grand at the Grand Masquerade of All Saints Wake, adventurers, monsters, and solid watchers are as one. Permit us our mischief, and we might just follow you home. Yeah. Sally, it seems the white-headed pumpkin lady never seems to want to stick around to give me her appreciation personally. Never understood why. So, 3,360 of gold gums to us, and even though we have got the opportunity to, to play with Little Yin and the little, little Yang, we can sadly only choose one of them, which really sucks, because I was really thinking that we were going to get to have both of them, but no, you can only choose between one or the other. Yeah, I know, that's a little heartbreaking, isn't it? So, we'll have the little ghost girl, Yin, come join us and have fun with Rika. And with that, we get the achievement, Ghost with the Most. So... You want to speak with the Adventurer's Guild Investigator again to unlock the Haunted Mansion game from two years ago? You can go ahead and do that, just like last year. But, for now, let's go ahead and have Little Yin join us out here. And then find her in the Minion Guide. Where is the Little Yin? Ah, oh, here it is. 
Little Yin, one half of a pair of, literally, animated decorations used to stumble across during, across during All Saints Wake festivities. Members of the Continental Circus are at a loss as to why this sudden specter appears to have a will of its own, though possession is high on their list of theories. And yeah, they probably say the same thing about Little Yang, don't they? But yeah, that is how things roll around here for this year's edition of All Saints Wake. Um, there is something else that I should also point out, because, yeah, we were given cookies, but I actually don't know where to use them. <coughs> and I better close this soon, because my voice is going away. But yeah, you can speak with the enthralling illusionist to unlock the little quest for the haunted mansion, and the Harlan Quinn guide will take you in, so... Yeah, we've thwarted the plans of the... Oh, maybe it's this shady smock. Ah, yes, there we go. Oh, we can do the events again so we can have Little Yang. So, yeah, you can keep doing the Haunted Mansion and get Little Yang into your party as well, as well as some food, as well as a wall-mounted um, decoration. A couple of them, actually. But, yeah, so, yeah, there, it's not, all hope is not lost yet for Little Yang. We'll have an opportunity to bring him into the fold eventually so yeah sadly one of the little ghosts from before who was dancing around has gone away now probably scared off by the sunlight but this one's still chilling out and enjoying themselves i guess can't really tell with that expression on their face but that is going to do it for this little edition of the all saints wake halloween event here in final fantasy 14 for 2018 and so with that i'd like to thank everyone for watching this edition of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, and I will see you guys again next time with what will likely be the next special event, or we could easily get to see the return of the Hildebrand Mysteries returning to the game as well. So, yeah, whatever it may be that comes first, you'll be sure that we'll be showing it off. So, thank you very much, everyone, and until next time, this is Matthew at Navarra Autism, Saying take care, and I'll see you soon. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Ian fly flew right through Rika. Hope nothing weird happened to her as a result. <laughs>